mild Luddites to come to and the postponement put off, a season's worth of seconds cruft under one twilight's metered silage of beginnings. I reread Surrender like an atlas every day, like snow or mud, play the fulcrum always but amateurly. My tenor passes for pace, a chapel voiced array in a gust of gloved land. I handle his truth bitten equinox, there's a his now, and alm with winter fronts to others. The phones posy silent in powdery increments of time, harden in, then desert our immense little theories. Our follicles chime now and then, though. The Drake equation is lit by our manila vigils for it at such times, and my last open metronomic word paws his frenulums like a pending eclipse, and pow. My hymn's ugly brisance narrows to a reason, to one crude, poise-breaking note between what's me and what's mere, and guess what's left? Lumbar footage, poor peelings, mythless provisos, Minisci, and these wildernesses, they title us things like Gemini and Affiance. But, or I should say when, a sheet of dumb spectrum walls in almost completely this merciless calm or delays of moored. Major credos, even minor ones, I have enough of to pass around. But not when hiatus, like gnats, crowds my Doppler view of the year's hoarded dismissals. And 30 times, or 40, down to that varmint shore cobbled with Ian Curtis permanence. My toes grasp the veto, the big one. You know the one I'm talking about. And I wonder, again, how something can be so faint and so vast. How ache stampedes tonight at the speed of absolutely nothing at all. looking for animals, and there's one with animals, but it's sort of crazy, oh, no. and so it like belongs later, you know, but I'm going to see if I can find it now, and I'll just kind of, we'll just get through it. Uh, what happens later? I try to leave the crazy ones for later. Later or later? Later. <laughs> okay, here it is. So, this is, have you ever, so when you go to Home Depot, and there's like the plant section and you find those plants that have like the like a bulb and then like those palm like things coming out. Um, they call it a sago palm, but it's not really a palm, it's like a, a cycad. It's like the oldest known plant. Anyway, I have one and it's dying and alive. Um, this poem is called Cycad plus Sayola equals wet. A sayola is a species of rare dark uh, barking deer. They live of in rare what? Vietnam. Barking deer. Oh. Um, so this is a hybrid. Um, okay. Because I remember tendency, all my ex-destinations and henchmen cower, cuddle, add and sum, take speciation like champs, and lay their reverent fictive gifts at my feet. Impossible quiz, I might return. Tell me, elephant, plus nimble will equals what? Or Martha Washington geranium plus the extinct giant ground sloth equals what? And they will tell me it equals ooey saponin and stuff to kin to dogs, which kind of fucking sucks actually. But at any rate, I will build the invisible thousands who will build the invisible pyramid in which all our prayers are interred grandiosely. I will gather them bit torrent of souls into my dark manger, I will add up my vantage points, I will use my mouth to perform four tasks. I'll bray the cliff notes at them over drinks and undead daylights, like every other normal and well-meaning deletion, but first they will please wake me up from my trench nap, because I'm the master of ceremonies and I must tell the people, may the most cacophonous chorus of dad names win, may the soakingest offering appease my answer. <laughs> the other one, the one that I meant to read after that is I forgot, but I have it on my phone. This is bad form, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, 
This poem is called Summon Proto Homing Device Elemental, which is a Magic the Gathering. So, so anyway, to summon or cast our old world usages. Out of respect for math, let's agree on make. In this particular case, there are five easy steps. First, we beachcomb the facts and add a sense of division. Four risks, savagery, flair for raw denim. Next, put a decent Polaris up there in our working cosmos. Noble gases, hinted at universal truths, and some occult for fun, like seasonal depression is consequent of Uranus in retrograde. Then add some existential mix-up of the appendages. Finn, trapped inside a paused left leg, then add the tendency to look up longingly at that wormish dot in the dark. The tendency to scratch that grove of seraphs roosting above the belt line. See that? Belt line. Things have begun to take shape. Next, add the ability to identify the maker. Add bridge log grid logic and rolls and rupture little one. Add chewing my bon voyage to whatever resultant dusky mouthful you might. I promise not to say you or I or to imply exactly how many of us there are in this situation. Let's just say my work is worked, and leave it at that. But before our next lesson, which is about undoing, hold up again to me your palm, that I might empty it of embarkation. dimmed by our chummy adieu in the specimen detective pose I take that I think looks good as I get smaller. Cue layover montage to stash my daily fabling in. To wait is a sport now or science, he had muttered, more featureless horizon than actually standing there making a bet. I scanned myself for laws and found none, and now watch his wave like a bellows boost with minutes what present we have left, I am already ready. Those footsteps minuet of fading out, I think, have their simpatico with any crooked inch I have marched before. Still, I'll send my letters to a desert with internet. Roam our ratio to its lopsided max, and if something of us should spill in that rickety arithmetic, I might win. I might treat it like north with my compass alone. So I'm working on this project. I'm working on projects. It's, um, it's about um, writing poems like as an atlas of planets and science fiction. Um, so this one's about LV-426, which is a planet in the movie Alien, where they find the derelict spacecraft. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm excited now. There's not aliens in it. But from space crash? Maybe the alien. <laughs> no, it's sort of like based on those narratives, you know? LV-426, the they found the I found the small, identical moments of unattended isolation. I found tarnish heralds its own inexorable, celebrant loss. I found there was no surety without doubts, no possessive natures without certain materialisms, and I was surprised by my findings. I found apocalypses came and went unnoticed, that plans are for falling through, not for following through with, that a promise is as promise does, that always from the provinces make I my clone returns, and I did not clench my teeth when honestly and honorably I filed my reports down to their fragile pugnacious quips. Archaeology is the study of distress. Trust me. Okay, so this is um, called granular synthesis. I'm sorry. Granular synthesis is that like sound thing? 
whatever. O oh, staggered sequence into whose meticulous knots I strong arm and bluff sense. O oh, uulating wiki crypt I uninstall on a moment to moment basis here in this la la land where odd is idyllic. I have cheated eschesis and made no advances that can be seen, these dozen increments and as many dwellings. See how on the tonsils I have rendered my desperate plea and the chef, the theft, or Tetris my quest is most days, wands off. I will read one more small poem. The people, over, the people on my right, this small. It is called December 32nd. We get down to the snow-capped marrow of it gradually. Our histamines and urgency tune the adage our brooding has parroted to match what tinny end in sight nostalgia likes. We limitlessly sulk, bricklay tailspun winters to rifle through them next year. Where the 16th moon, like a wetsuit, hover with runts, colossi, chagrin, belief, maybe. Whitewash the impact, bloodlet, prey love's ruin, resurrects our purest blood.